Hey, what is up, guys? It is Justin here, back bringing you another episode of Pack Squad. This one's number uh, seven, from what I know. Uh, but last episode, I think we got destroyed. At least it was three to two. Very close game, but we almost beat uh, the top ten player, almost. But uh, unfortunately, we cannot win that last game, so we're restarting back. Uh, I might try to fit in two games this episode, so we'll see what we can do. But uh, I'm going to show you guys my team, and you can see right now I am 7-0-0 in the season. Uh, I think right now I'm like, I think I'm 10 in a row. I've won 10 in a row already, but uh, we're going to get the league title, hopefully. We have three games remaining to get two points. I don't think it's going to be too hard, but then again, you never know. I might get a three-game losing streak with this team, but uh, what better than to risk it with a pack squad team, all right? Alright, so this is how our team's looking. Jamie Ben, Kopitar, Nishushkin, uh, we got Hansel, Lott, and Wheeler, uh, Hoodler, uh, Stastny, Raymond, we got some Calgarian uh, chemistry there with Zach Cassian, Berglund, and Schwartz. So our chemistry's not looking too bad, like every single line has a solid uh, change team on them, right? There's two on that one, two Winnipegs, two Calgarys, and two St. Louis. Our defense is not looking as great as the offense, of course, but you know what? I'm pretty optimistic about this episode, so we're going to see if we can get anything good. Uh, we got about 160,000 coins, so we're going to try to fit in two episodes, maybe open up an 8750 and then a 17,500. I might just open up anyways, but let's go right into the game here. That was quite an intro, but let's get started here, boys. Okay, so we did find a game finally. I matched up with a guy that was uh, booting people off. I showed on Twitter. Got matched up with the same guy, but we finally found this guy. Seems like a pretty fair matchup, uh, but I'm gonna try testing out doing two episodes or two games per episode, and hopefully that extends the episode to like at least 10 minutes. You guys, let me know whether or not you want one game per episode or two, and uh, I can just do whatever you guys want. And I just want to start up this game. Those jerseys look sick, though. I think they're from uh, the QMJHL. I think I have no idea, but let's see this guy's team: Tavares, Zykov, and I don't know who the other guy is, but. Our team's looking pretty good. You know what? There is a chance we can win. It's got Carlson. Yeah, yeah. Probably boosted players, but uh, we'll get right into this game and see how we do. Oh, <laughs> oh no. All right. I misplayed that. Kapanen and Zykov in his first line. Obviously boosted players, but nothing you can do about that. 1848 into the game. All right. Let's step it up here. Jerry, what the hell? I don't even know any of the like his players. Jerry, Jerry as a goalie. So I'm gonna guess it's some like bronze boosted goalie. Come on, come on, get the puck here, lad. Don't give him the cross crease. Yeah, okay, okay. Don't worry, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, we got a penalty. Jesus Christ! How? Do, wait, how, I just put down the controller. Like, how come I didn't pick up the puck? All right, there we go, Marty Hansel. There we are. So. Right now, we're seven minutes into the first period, but geez, I don't like how we're already down one nothing and on a penalty kill. We're definitely getting out played a little bit. Oh, what? Oh man, this game is hilarious. Stasty with a goal. I don't even know how that went in. I kind of want to see a little bit of a replay there just to see that first one. Marry me, Paul. What the hell? Paul Stasty. All right, 17-25. Uh, I want to see what happens. Take a shot, and then Stasty just kind of runs at it and scores a goal. And I like how he's missing his teeth. I like that smile. Missing all his front teeth. Anyways, it is tied back up one to one. Let's keep going. All right, so that is the end of the first period against this guy named Snowflakes. Not doing horrible, you know what? Uh, it is pretty much even game to me, at least five to four in shots. Four minutes time on attack to one, but then again, uh, I'm just waiting for that puck rag and I'm just gonna wait for the cross crease, but so far, one to one, tie game. Oh, Jerry. Jerry. He's making some saves. Oh, he's making some saves. Oh, my God. Jerry just keeps going at it. God damn, I cannot pot one home. I have gone so many shots this period. Jerry's saving him for sure. Nishushkin, uh, Kopitar, and Ben. Not a bad line. Not too bad. It's like a really good power forward line just to get shit done. Lad, go, lad. Oh, we got this. 
Ah, oh, god damn it! Sorry about that scream, but sometimes you just gotta laugh at the offsides there. But so far, so good. We're getting some, we're getting a couple shots on. A lot of offensive pressure. Just gotta gotta capitalize at this point. Stay in the middle there. Stay in the middle. Poke check. Uh, where am I going? Where am I going with Schwartz? Where am I going with Schwartz? Oh, what the hell? Three seconds left, and he does score a goal. Once again, one of those weird little... Uh, he just grabs the puck from the net and doesn't really go in. But 2-1 to one there, not going to complain. Krejci and Kane, I played it, misplayed it a little bit. But uh, I don't even know. That was a really bad rebound, and that apparently is a goal. No questions asked. All right, all right. All right, ref. If you're sure, if you're sure. Are you serious? That's, like, on the line. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh, that's gotta be a goal. Come on. That, that is one of the biggest glitches. I'm not gonna say I don't do glitch goals, but then again, it's like... Oh, oh, there it is, there it is. Go Kopitar, go Kopitar. Go Kopitar. No! How did he, how does he not get a tripping penalty? He just poke checking like crazy, getting everything. There we go, let's go. Pass it up to the Jamie Ben. Jamie Ben, definitely one of my favorite, starting to become one of my favorite players in the NHL, for sure. I like how, how he's playing. I watch a lot of the Dallas highlights. He's just a beast. I mean, you gotta say, like, the way he plays in the game, for sure. Like, you cannot beat Jamie Ben when he's angry. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Sorry about that scream. Probably rest in peace headphone users. But I am happy that I tied it up. I want to win that division title flawlessly, hopefully. Uh, even going to overtime is not too bad, as long as I can guarantee that I get that one point. But so far, 2-2 two to two tied back up. Jerry is playing great for him. God damn it, that's like the fourth or fifth time I've done that so far. He's made that goalie animation, so... Uh, I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting better scoring chances for sure. Oh, here's a goal, here's a goal. Uh, shorts! Uh, pass it back. Pa oh, there it is. Right in front. Uh, Cassian, Cassian. Berglund, shoot it. Oh, my God. He got knocked down. Oh, off the post. Off the post. Come on. Get us that goal. We, we need this right now. Keep keep the pressure on him. You're not, you're not stopping. We're not stopping here. Marty Hansel with the puck. Marty Hansel. He's going to score us a goal here. Scores a big one. Oh, I called it. I called it. I'm sorry about the glitch goals. I really want to bring that streak back up. I feel like it's more interesting at actually opening the pack, but you guys let me know. Do you guys want me want to see some better goals, or do you guys want to just see packs? That is the thing, like, do I focus more on winning the game and try to get that pack, or should I just give you some gameplay that you'll be satisfied about? You guys let me know in the comments, but now we're winning 3-2, maybe I'll switch it up a little bit. Oh! <laughs> Jamie Ben with a tip. I did not expect that at all. He actually picked it up and shot it backhand. What a goal. So, 4-2, Jamie Ben once again on my first line. I think it's 4-4 four four right now. The Anze Kopitar and Jamie Ben is on fire so far. Just gotta make sure I play some good defense and end off this game. Oh, I, oh, I thought he was stopping there for a sec. What? <laughs> Get out of my way. Jeez. Sauce it up to Anze. Anze, Deke. Deke. Deke, oh, you keep going. Oh, Blake Wheeler. All right, that is pretty, well, what's going on? What's going on? Shoot it. So that's pretty much the end of the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that game. Uh, I think I'm going to do another one just so I can do it. But we have won for the first time the Division One title flawlessly, which I'm pretty proud about. Uh, but that's a lot of coins. That's a lot of coins. Where is the pucks for the league title? There it is. We got a whopping 5,000 coins for that game. And we did win the Division 1 title, which is pretty good. 8-0 and 0 in the Division 1. But, uh, pretty big defensive game for sure. Uh, I really just lit it up in the second and third period, and he just cannot handle it. Uh, first period, I would say I got outplayed a little bit. A uh, little bit of a couple cheeky goals there, here and there. You know, uh, Eric Stahl scored a goal where it was kind of controversial on the line, but still went in. One of my goals, I forgot, uh, just kind of slipped right by the goalie, and then I don't even know what happened. Uh, so that game was a little bit weird. Uh, he was using a different goalie, like Jerry. I've never heard of him. But uh, let's get right into this 8750 pack and maybe we can start up another game. That is a lot of coinage, alright? So we're at 166k. We basically gained 
around 6k from that game which is absolutely insane so hopefully we get something good in this 8750 pack that we can use on the team practically the team's built i'm just just a matter of picking up high studs at this point something above 85 overall and we get ellis all right you know what his stats don't look too bad uh i might swap him out for someone else any players at the back recover for a game injury i'll keep that i'll keep the contracts as well other than that nothing too much that i want to keep uh the coach already have a samuels spalling and fratton not going to use so i'm going to try out ellis uh maybe i'll see where he can fit and i'll be right back with the team roster all right so i did change up the lines a little bit i decided to take out josh george's put shannon kirk ba back on left defenseman because i did have shannon kirk on the left defenseman before but ryan ellis now playing on our first line right defenseman spot so hopefully it makes a big name for us but let's get into the next game i will do another one uh, just because we are on a one game win streak and i want to make sure that we keep continuing on uh the win streak ladder so we can open up more packs in the future right but anyways let's get right into the next team let's see if we can win all right, so we finally found a game against a Bostonian fan. Uh, he was editing his lines a little bit, so I'm wondering if he is player locking or something. Let's see his record here. 96, 61, 10. Not the greatest, but again, my record is above 2-1 and one now, so that is pretty good. You know what? I would say that my bad start uh, in hot really just killed me. Uh, but then again, let's see what his team's looking like. Hosa, Kopitar, and Parise. All right, so let's start up this game and see what we can do. Oh, what a save. What a save. I, I really just went for the cross crease there. Off the post. God damn it. Come on. We got this. We got this coming. We got this coming. Shoot again. Tuka Rask. Jeez. Is he good this year or what? I don't even know. I used Tuka Rask in NHL 14. Did not like him too much. Oh, uh, giving him too much space. Giving him too much space there. Uh, pass it. Uh, uh oh, that's not good. Oh, my God. Nice save by Lennon. Uh, let's get this puck out. See what we can do. Do you know those people that just love to poke check in your zone it's quite annoying but you just br i'm gonna show you how to deal with these type of people in a little bit but if you are a person that struggles getting the puck out i'm gonna show you what to do uh, with your players so once i get the puck once i get the puck i'll show you guys oh uh, come on all right so he's in my zone right now oh <laughs> I, ca I can't even grab the puck Oh, uh, goddamn. I was trying to explain, like, a little bit of a tutorial on how to deal with uh, people that like to poke check a lot. But now we're already down by one. That is not good. Give me the puck first. Give me the puck. All right, there it is. So, people that like to poke check, bring the puck all the way back here. And they, it's a pretty hard time to, like, poke check, right? Uh, I mean, it's a pretty, pretty risky thing to poke check at that point because you're so close into the body. Oh, man. Is he going for another shot? Let's go, man. Ah, <sighs> how's that not a penalty? Oh, was that bar down? I don't even know, but Anze Kopitar with the Geno. Just a snipe. I like that shot. Boston Bruin fans are angry about that one. Anze Kopitar, definitely a really good Los Angeles player. Let's see what happened there. I was just able to take the puck off. Yeah, I think that was just bar down beauty. That's why I like to see. Good job, Anze Kopitar. Keep it up. Okay, sorry about that. We are at the end of the first period. Here are the stats. I know you guys like to see the stats, but so far, 76 in shots, 3 minutes time on attack to 2. Uh, I think we're outplaying him. You know what? We just gotta keep capitalizing our scoring chances. I think the only way we're gonna actually score is if we can actually uh, score a bar down on Tukarask every single time. I think that his shot was kind of lucky in the beginning, that first goal, but uh, we're gonna see if we can get it back. Oh, what? What was that? <laughs> oh, man. This is like the second game in a row where these goals are just like... Kind of just going through the goalie. I don't even know. It just slips through like butter. But Nishushkin, huge body. And it just kind of goes in by itself. It was Nishushkin's goal. Uh, just a bad defensive play by him. And he's re-watching that. Off a couple skates and in through Tuka Rask. So there we go. We are now leading 2-1. to one. Marion Hosa definitely angry at himself for that one. Go Hoodler, go Hoodler. Yes! That's what I'm talking about. I'm sorry about the yell. I, I keep yelling after I score a goal. But Yuri Hoodler with a breakaway just splits the defenseman there. Uh, but now making it 3-1, to one, I'm glad that uh, my third period resolutions are working. So uh, Yuri Hoodler with a first goal. I I'm not sure how many goals he scored this 
uh, season in my pack squads, but he's not too bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna unload it on this guy. I don't care. Shannon Kirk with a nice goal here. I won't score glitch goals when I'm up by like one or two. Uh, just because I know I'm gonna probably do okay in the third period. Six minutes left. But Shannon Kirk does score a pretty nice one there. Let's see if I can do another one. Oh, let's do another one. Uh, Nishushkin. Oh, where? Uh, no, I'm not gonna shoot that in. That's an automatic penalty. Uh, let's hip check him. Uh, yep, there it is. Uh, wow, what? I just like bounced off his butt. <laughs> All right, probably just ended off there, but uh, Jamie Ben also scoring another one, so he's been doing very well for me. I think he scored at least a couple goals per game uh, so far in all my pack squad, so pretty good so far. Jamie Ben definitely a player you should pick up, just in the right position, always at the right time. But can't follow. Let's see if we can just end off this game on a good note. Uh, don't lose any more goals. Play for a goalie here. Skate backwards here. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, got by him. Got by him. Deke. All right, I'm being a little bit too fancy, but this episode, I hope, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to uh, go right into the packs right after, and we're going to open up a 17,500. I don't think we're going to lose another goal. See, like, this guy's just chasing at this point. Yeah, it's too easy. It's just too easy. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That was too beautiful of a goal. God damn. I didn't even expect me to sauce pass. I don't know. Anyways, so that is the end of the game. I uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this two game episode. I'm gonna open up the 17,500 pack right now, and we did win seven to one with a late last seven second goal, I think. But uh, how many pucks? We got 1135 pucks for that game, and I think so far we're on like a 15 or 20 game win streak, which is crazy. But 23 17 shots, we definitely outplayed him. Maybe not fully deserving of all the goals, but I think we did deserve to beat him. Uh, but let's go right into the 17,500 pack. I'll meet you there. All right, so let's get right into the pack. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, please leave a like. It would really mean a lot if you left a like for this episode. It took me almost an hour just to play the games, and then it's not too bad. But then again, the editing is going to take a while. But let's open up this 17,500 pack. And thank you guys so much once again if you left a like. Uh, but we're down to 142k. Something good for a team. Uh, Matt Reed, Nielsen, alright, that's not horrible, actually I might just use him, I'm just hoping for a hot live, there's a like, pretty good team of the week out so far, uh, plus 5 all, goalie plus 5, oh my, <laughs> it was worth playing the second game for sure, Drew Doughty, a 91 overall defenseman pickup, worth 100,000 pucks, how, <sighs> the luck for this pack squad series is um, incredible, I don't even know. So, Matt Reed, Nielsen, Santorelli. I actually might keep, uh, just in case I already have Santorelli. But, Drew Doughty. Oh, man. Never doubt the Doughty, man. Never doubt the Doughty. Guys, I don't even know what to say about this episode. We picked up a Drew Doughty. Our 87.50 pack was not great, but we did continue streak, winning the Division One League title flawlessly. And now we just picked up Drew Doughty on our line. Our most expensive player on our team so far. I mean, Anze Kopitar... He's only worth around 70, 80k. Same with Jamie Ben, around the 70k region. So our Drew Doughty right here is going to lead our defensive pack, and we're going to see in the next episode whether or not we can continue our streak, pick up some more great players, and so far this pack squad series, I'm gonna say very successful so far. So I'm hoping, hoping you guys enjoyed this series so far. Let me know in the comments if there's any suggestions you want. Uh, whether you want me to keep the two game or the one game, you guys let me know in the comments. I'll maybe answer it a little bit later. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Gavrik McQuaid and 35k. A lot of hot live, but Kenneth's like a 10k player right now. He's got crazy shots for uh, for his hot live card. Rearing Gavrik once again 10k, so he's getting about 45. 53 with a quick song from the Queen. Yeah. Uh,